We have recently made some reference updates to the system, so I'm going to cover how to work with some of these uh, newer updates with the reference. You can still continue to add a point of reference item and choose reference and name it and put some text in here. And this continues to work the same way it did in the prior tutorial. If I click on this, it will show you the information over here. Uh, I can also now drill, drill in here. Uh, this used to be a drop down, but now um, it's an expandable hierarchy over here. This is the same information. In fact, as you see, when I choose test here, it highlights it over here, same item. We've added a campaign I, uh, option though, and this is reference material that sticks around throughout the entire campaign. So regardless of what map you're on, this campaign information will stay the same. So on map changes per map, campaign is the standard throughout the campaign. So if I click in here, I can add new pages here. So um, I can do something like this. And you'll see inside the campaign is a campaign page one. If I click in here, there's my info and there's the path. So we are inside campaign um, page one, inside the campaign. In addition, I can come in here and I can even put some campaign information in here. If I wanted to put a title, so it kind of creates a header, but notice that I have the table of contents underneath this. And the nice thing about all of this is there's a hierarchy. So I can actually come in here and create a path called chapter one. And I can do something like uh, in intro. Um, and notice that when I save this, now I have a little uh, widget here that I can open up and I can look inside of here. So I have campaign page one, which is just a page. I have a chapter and inside the chapter is info. And just like at the campaign level, I can go back to chapter one and I can edit this page and add info about the chapter. And if I save this, notice that there's the info about the chapter. So the nice thing about this is it allows you to create a hierarchy here of information that's easily uh, manageable and you should be able to come back in here and easily get to the information you want. Obviously, it's up to you to make sure you maintain that. The last thing is a tome. And um, obviously, the nice thing about a campaign is you can kind of build a structure around a campaign. Well, what if there's information that you have that you want to use across multiple campaigns? Well, that's where Tomes comes in. And in fact, the nice thing about Tomes is Tomes will allow you to access third-party information. So if you click into Tomes and you want to add a Tome, this a slightly different interface shows up and this allows you to select a Tome or create a new Tome. So we are uh, starting to leverage Open5e. So this spells tome is a Open5e spells book effectively. So I can open this up. It happens to be listed uh, alphabetically and I can open up and find any spell I want. Or I'm still in tomes here. I can add my own tome. Uh, And I can click in here and I can start adding pages. And much like uh, I showed you in the prior, prior tutorial, I can grab information and paste it in here. So this might be, and I can put this in a path for treasures. And I can save this. And now I have, if I go back up to my tomes level, I can here look at my book of the dead, treasures, treasure one. And oh, I forgot to, to add a one before this, but if I come in here and I make this small change here, save it, now this becomes clickable. So I can easily look up, oh, blue quartz. So that's how you might use this. And what we will do is in the future, we will allow you to uh, send your tomes to other people. So if you continue to work in, on a tome, you can build it out and not only share it across all your campaigns, but share it with others. And we will also continue to build out these pre-built tomes and in the future we'll have a storefront and everything else. But that is how this new reference area works and I think you can see how powerful this can be if you take the time and build it out correctly.